What's up, Peak Timers? If you love hypercars and you haven't heard of poster cars, then you're gonna love this video. Poster cars made a hypercar collection. There's 18 in total. I've got all 18 here today. There's two separate packaging. You can see the four at the top are different from the ones at the bottom. All of these retail for only around $10 US. So they're a great value for how detailed they are. I'll link them all in the description box below if you wanna purchase them, but let's go ahead and start opening them. Car number one from the collection is the Pagani Zonda F and you can see the number listed right there on the back so they'll all be numbered 1 through 18 and these are all officially licensed products so you know they are good quality they look good they feel good and also all of them come with the hard acrylic casing as well even the ones that are in the blister packs so really really nice that they have all that included let's go ahead and open this And having a look at it on the actual display right here, you can see it's got Pagani Zonda F, one in 64 scale, the poster cars logo, and then it says uh, Argentina blue. That's the exact blue color. And this is part of the Hypercar League collection number 01. And before we get a close look at the car, let's take them off of its pedestal. And there is the car itself. And wow, the, first of all, the color looks really, really good. I absolutely love that metallic blue that they have right there. And just look at the detail of that with the window, the interior, even the, the mirrors on here. Now I must say holding it though, it does feel quite light. So I believe that is a fully plastic body, uh, which is what keeps the prices down. You can see even on the base right there, it's fully plastic on the base, but the wheels do roll. They all roll very nicely. There's no stutter, anything like that. But this is made for, just look at that detail. Look at the back of that Zonda, that exhaust in the center right there, the side, the color of the wheels right there, the kind of imitation like carbon fiber that it's got, the nice spoiler on the back right there. Great detail from the front end. It looks fantastic. Just a excellent, excellent piece right here. Super, super happy with the look. The quality, yes, because of the price, they are all plastic, but if you keep them on your display, you don't notice the difference, and these just look amazing. And car number two, we've got the Pagani Zonda F, and this one in a Rosso Dubai colorway, and there's the number two right there. And you'll notice the trend with all of these Every car comes in two different color variations. So there's actually nine cars in total, but two colors of each one to a total of 18. Let's open this one and get a close look. And there we have it in that nice red color. Again, just amazing looking metallic color to it. Just the detail that they have with that roof and on the inside, the mirrors all from the side. You can see even on the back, it's got the little Pagani right there, the Zonda right there as well. Just a great, great looking car. We'll actually grab the blue one itself so you guys can see them both side by side in both color variations and kind of Decide which one you like the best. I really like, I think the blue one is the way to go. Car number three of 18 is the McLaren P1 in the ever so popular Volcano Yellow, kind of the initial release press car that this was released in. So I really, really like it. You guys know yellow is my favorite color. Let's open this. And here it is. And there's one thing I must say is the color itself, it is called a volcano yellow. I feel like the color of this one is maybe slightly off. I feel like it's a little too dark of a yellow. It's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong about it in real life. I don't remember ever seeing a, a P1 in volcano in real life in person. So, but this one looks to be a little bit more darker pearlescent yellow for a volcano yellow. And uh, the, the casting itself though, looks great. There's only one issue that I really, really have with a lot of manufacturers making the McLaren P1. And I don't know if you guys can tell, is, it's right here on the back, it's this. I prefer the McLaren P1 to be parked in race mode or to be casted in race mode, like the Hot Wheels variation. There is the Hot Wheels variation with that wing sitting up, because the wing does go up and down on the P1, so you can see in race mode, looks a lot better so um, but you can see the yellow difference as well like they call this one the volcano yellow 
That looks more like a Volcano Yellow to me, the Hot Wheels variation. Obviously the Hot Wheels one is not nearly as detailed though. Like if we do a little bit of a comparison, you can see that the Hot Wheels one looks a lot bigger as well than the Poster Cars variation. But the Poster Cars one, the proportions I think are spot on. You can even see the side detail of this one, the way that this, this line right here looks a lot thicker doesn't look as realistic as that one. Obviously we got the interior details with the Hot Wheels one down. You can see the nice interior details on the inside right there. Kind of a white interior, that's kind of cool. But other than that, the car itself does look great. It's just the, the spoiler in race mode and maybe the color that I find slightly off on this one. Car number four of 18, the McLaren P1 in Lantana purple, which this color I find to be more of a blue than purple, and that's just not the model itself. I feel like in real life, it also looks a little bit more bluish, but nonetheless, it's a great looking color. We'll have to use the knife to open this one up, but let's do it. And there we have our Lantana Purple McLaren P1 from Poster Cars. And you can see, again, the color itself. I mean, to me, I know I admit I'm slightly colorblind as well, or definitely am colorblind, but that to me just looks more like blue. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, McLaren themselves call it Lantana Purple. It's got some sparkle to it. So maybe it looks different when you put it under the sunlight. But besides that, the casting itself, again, same casting as the yellow one that we just saw, but this one in that Lantana Purple color. We'll get a little bit of a comparison now side by side, and you can kind of decide which one do you think fits it better? Personally, I like the yellow one, but I just don't like this shade of yellow. But the Lantana purple color in this one does look good. I just love how they did the light interior on the P1 as well. I think that looks really cool. It's a good detail, so you can see a little bit more detail. But we just, we need, we need race mode. We need a, a race mode variation of this car, and I think it would be just absolutely perfect. Car number five of 18 is the Konezeg Yesco Absolute in Sweet Meridian, which is an orange color. Let's open it. And there we have the Konezeg Yesco Absolute. So Absolute being the variation that is made for speed. So you can see the attack variation will have that big spoiler on the back, the big wing, but this one just got these like little blades right here. And it's actually kind of cool because we don't see a lot of manufacturers doing the absolute variation. A lot of them will do the the uh, track only variation just because it just does look a little bit more aggressive in the back. But I think this one, it's made for speed. And once Konezeg does their top speed run of this car, which I hope they do soon, I think the absolute variation is going to become the more popular one if this does break that 305 plus mile an hour barrier. We'll have to see. Color wise, I think it's pretty cool. I do like this orange color, nice metallic to it. Again, just great, great detail on these. Like I just cannot believe how good of a value these cars are for how good of a detail they are. They're just all very, very proportionate, just excellent looking. Car number six of 18, the Konezeg Yesco Absolute in crystal white. And how much of a crystal white do we have? It is a very nice white. So you can see that metallic sparkle of the white right there in my lights. Almost got like a pearl asking to it right there. Uh, very, very nice looking in the white because the Yesco is kind of like, the white is kind of the color of the Yesco. That's what the press release car was released in it. I think it looks excellent in that white color. The front of the Yesco is just so cool looking. I just really, really like it. And obviously we've got that back end with those blades right there. Again, just an overall great looking design. The mirrors, you gotta be pretty careful. They're, they're not a soft mirror, they are a hard mirror, but uh, they actually feel fairly strong to be honest when they're on there. So that's pretty good, but just a great looking car from the side. Let's actually grab our orange one right here and then we can get a look at those ones side by side. And you guys tell me in the comments section down below, which color do you think of these ones is best? It's, it's hard to say. I think both of them look really, really good. Car number seven of 18 is the Lamborghini Sienna FKP37 in Verde Gia right there, which is kind of like a copperish green color. Let's open it. And there it is, and the color itself, it definitely looks more green now that I've taken it out, but it's got like a matte texture finish to it. It's almost like a, a satin metallic finish 
in matte right there. So you can see that. So it's an interesting color for this one. We've got those like goldish style wheels right there as well. The mirrors look really, really nice. And actually let's have a look at that model just kind of just right there from the side. There's that front end and you can see that they've kind of merged the light design into that new Lamborghini Revelto. So that's interesting to see how, where they've come from, but from the side, it looks really good. The rear end of this car is so cool, cool looking. Really, really like that rear end. And again, that's a kind of a trend they've merged into some other Lamborghinis as well. And actually let's do a little bit of a comparison. I have the Hot Wheels variation right here of the Lamborghini CN. So we can see proportion wise, it looks like the poster cars is maybe slightly bigger. And if we look from the front end, I mean, yes, the poster car one is definitely a lot more detailed. You can see it's a lot more proportionate. Again, we're comparing like a $10 car to a $1 car. So it's definitely different, but it's interesting to see the differences for like you can see the, the detail. Just look at the, the Hot Wheels one, that detail right there on the side. It's not nearly as much as the poster cars variation right there. If you look on the back itself as well, again, you can see that difference in detail and proportion wise for it. Both excellent looking cars though, I must say. Color wise, they've both got that kind of matte finish color to them, but definitely a different one. But what do you guys think of this color and this casting from poster cars? Car number eight of 18 is the Lamborghini Scion FKP37 in the blue Uranus. Let's go ahead and open it. And having a look at this color, it definitely looks like a good mixture of a green and blue together but uh, these wheels look really good on it. Again, the proportions of this Lamborghini are excellent. I think it's just perfect on this one. Love the light detail on that front end. I think this color is just a lot better than the other one right there. And this one from the back end, you can see those details nicely. The license plate from over the top right there. Just a great, great looking car. We'll grab the other one and we can do that comparison definitely very different colors on here. Uh, looks like we got the same wheels though, same wheel color variation and all that. But I don't know, I, I like this blue one, I think a lot better. It's, it's, a, it's a nicer color. I think it suits the car a little bit. Although this is kind of a little bit more like aggressive, like Batmobile style colorish, but nonetheless, both excellent looking from poster cars. Car number nine of 18 is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport Red over Black. Let's open it. And there we have it. And now that we have it open, we can see the color variation. So very high gloss color on there for that black and the red. The red itself is maybe a slight bit like darker than I thought it would be, but still looks really good. Got the nice gloss black wheels on there. And then we can see that kind of extended rear end for the Super Sport. So you can see it right there from the side. You can see how it kind of comes down compared to the regular Chiron. We got the, the nice diffuser on the back right there. Great detail on that front end. We can see that interior with those sport seats on there looking so, so good. I think they've done a great job at that one. And actually, I do have a car to compare. We have the Mini GT variation of the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. So let's actually compare them side by side so we can see. So first overhead, uh, we can see proportion wise, I think the Mini GT is maybe slightly bigger, a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, from the front end, yeah, I mean, I, I have to say Mini GT makes an excellent car and I'm comparing them side by side. I'd have to give the Mini GT the go ahead here as far as detail proportion wise, but both of them look so good. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either one of them. I think they both look excellent right here. There they are, there's your red and this one's kind of got like the imitation carbon fiber and stuff on there. So a little bit more detail, the way that cutout is on the front, maybe a little bit better detail. Although I have to say the interior on the poster cars, I think is better. I think the interior wise is better, but both of them really, really cool looking. I just love the color on this one right here from poster cars. Car number 10 of 18 is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport in a silk over black. Interesting color variation. Let's open it. And there it is. We've got the silk, they call it. And I would say it's kind of like a light gold color right there. We got the nice 
high gloss black color on the back, which I think the Bugattis with the black in the rear looks the best. I mean, you can combine basically any color on the front end right here of the Chirons, but the black in the back, I think looks the best. And there it is right there. You can see it very, very high gloss on there. This color, really not my thing, not really my personal choice. I wouldn't pick this. I'd rather have probably a blue or a yellow or even that red one looks really, really good. I'll actually, actually grab the red one and we can do that comparison between the two color variations. You guys obviously know which one I like better, but I want you guys to let me know which one's better. But again, not disappointing at all in the casting itself. I think it is perfect. Car number 11 of 18 is the Aston Martin Valkyrie in Skyfall Silver. And here we have it open and the Valkyrie, the one really interesting thing you can see from that top right there is the exposed color painted suspension that they have right there. That is super neat to see that one. That's a great detailed touch from that. And from the side, I mean, you can just look, actually let's look at the bottom. You look at the bottom right there and you can just see the aerodynamicness of the Aston Martin Valkyrie, how they got that. The, the air that flows right through the bottom. It's really, really nicely done. And it's it's essentially, I would call it like a Formula One car for the street. That's basically what this car is, but just really nice detail, really nice proportions. I mean, just think of all the intricate decals that they had to do to cut all that out and to, to have it go see through right there. So they've done a great job at this one right here. You can see it from the top. The color wise, I really like silver on cars. I think silver brings out the lines of a car like, like the best of any other color. So you can see all those different cuts and proportions. So great color choice for the Aston Martin Valkyrie on this one. Car number 12 of 18, the Aston Martin Valkyrie in Lime Essence. And as much as I like silver, I think the wild colors actually work great on these hypercars. In the lime essence, it's it's almost a pearl yellow, but it's not. It's definitely a greenish color. But wow, that is that's an interesting choice for this car. Very very interesting. I don't I don't even know if this color comes out perfectly on my camera. It almost looks a little bit overblown. It's a little bit brighter in real life, but just crazy, crazy pearl on this one, crazy color. You can see that suspension detail again on the top right there, the wheels, you can see just the underneath base with that color showing through, which looks really neat. And there it is from the rear end right there. Let's grab the other silver Valkyrie and two, two good color choices, I'd have to say. This is gonna be a tough one to kind of pick which color, I mean, I think the silver shows the color through and I like how they have the painted colored suspension on the silver one as well. So I think personally, I would pick the silver one between these, but you really can't go wrong with either. Two great color choices. Car number 13 of 18 is the McLaren Speedtail in Speedtail Silver. And you guys know exactly what I just said about silver, I think silver is your best color to show the proportions and this one is no different. You can see all the cool lines of the speed tail and the speed tail is just such an interesting design car because it's, let's just be honest, it's not the prettiest looking hypercar, but it's made for function and you can see it is made to go fast. You can see it's kind of got like that teardrop design. We've got that rear end right there that is very, very aerodynamic. You can see the diffuser underneath that kind of comes right through and kind of cuts right through the air. And then in real life, the, the rear tail right here, it's all carbon fiber. And you can see the little like slit cutouts right there. And those will actually lift up. So it's bendable carbon fiber in the back right there. And then obviously the center seat position design, which is the very, very interesting one. You can see how they've highlighted the center seat in the white, and then they've kept the side seats in a black color. So that's a really cool touch to that as well. You can see the little design on the back right there. But overall, I think the speed tail in this color, this is this is the color for the speed tail. This is perfectly done. Car number 14 of 18, the McLaren speed tail in McLaren orange. And as the popular saying goes, every Ferrari should be red, and I think every McLaren should be orange, except 
the speed tail. I think the speed tail in orange is not the perfect color for it. Uh, although the orange itself looks really good and orange is perfect for any other McLaren made, I think the speed tail in that silver color or like a light blue, I think that's just the way that it looks the best. But this orange color, I think they've done a great job at it. Uh, no complaints as far as the color goes. It's a very nice metallic orange. And actually, one thing I must say, let us if we look at the wheel, this is something I didn't notice, but you can see that they've got these speed covers on there and you can see how it doesn't move when you turn the wheel. That is a great, great detailed touch to it. So I just, I actually just noticed that right now. So super neat that they've done that. But again, I, I can't fault the orange. The orange color on this one, I think it's done right. I just think it's just the wrong color to have the orange on there. But nonetheless, the McLaren Speedtail, let's get those two side by side so you can see. And let's see, even that one has the same thing. So it turns and then they've got that wheel cover on there, the speed cover, they would say. But look at that, just two great colors on this car. I mean, like I said, the, the silver is the way to go, but you can't fault them for doing the orange on a McLaren. Car number 15 of 18 is the Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4 in white. There's your official name of it, the Bianco Sidoral. I'm probably saying it completely wrong, but you guys can read into that. Let's open it. And there it is, obviously white being the launch color of the new Lamborghini Countach, and I think it's a great color option. This one does have the red interior, so we got that red seats on the inside. That is super nice to see. And there is your detail on this one. Great looking from that front end. From the side end right there, you can see the nice gloss black wheels on there. From the top end, you can see it looks really, really nice. Got that nice diffuser on the back. Great detail on the rear end as well. Mirrors are very strong on it. You can see that side vent piece in black. I, I, I think the wheels on here look so good. They're just perfectly done in just a great looking white color on this one. And we got some great comparisons for this one right here. So there is our poster cars one right there. This one is a majorette one right here. And this one has the opening doors on here but you can see the detail on this. So the poster cars one just looks, it's miles better. You even look at the front window, how the difference is on that front window right there. The poster cars one is just a lot, lot better. So put that one down for a second. Then this is the Hot Wheels premium variation one right there. So if we look at that, you can see even the red dash that they've done on the front. So they've got that red on that inside right there. They're blacked it on the poster cars ones, uh, but, both of these ones are pretty good. I mean, I'll let you guys decide. So this is your poster cars one. That's your Hot Wheels variation. I mean, I, I have to still give it to the poster cars one, even though the Hot Wheels one does look pretty good. We'll look at it from the, the rear end right there. Actually, I think the Hot Wheels in the rear end one looks better. I like the detail of the Hot Wheels one right there. From the side though, you can see it very, very nice. You can see too much of a cutout right here from the casting connecting on the Hot Wheels one. And I think the wheels on the poster cars one is a little bit better, but still both two great looking cars. Let's actually get all three of them side by side. We'll put them right there. Obviously we have the opening doors on this one right here, the major at one. So you can see all three of those Countaches. Car number 16 of 18, the Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4 in blue. And you guys know I'm a big fan of blue cars as well, and check that out, wow. The blue on this one is amazing. I love that color on here. It's just a perfect blue for a Lamborghini Countach. These wheels, again, the same blacked out gloss wheels on there. We've got the blue, in, or sorry, we've got the red interior on here as well, which is kind of interesting. So they've kept that interior color, but just look at that. Look at that color. It just sparkles, just looks so, so good. It's a great looking blue color. We'll actually grab our white Countach. I'll put this one right here so you can see both of our color variations. I mean, the Countach, it does look great in white, but I think blue is just a bit different. I have to go with that blue color. I think this is the, the best blue color from poster cars. I'll actually grab the Pagani Zonda F so you can see those two blues. This is more of a pearl 
sparkle metallic blue and this is a little bit flatter of a blue. I think both the blues look really good, but that Countach, that blue Countach looks so good. Car number 17 of 18 is the Porsche 918 Spider in Guards Red. And it's always interesting to see the Porsche 918 Spider done in a casting because you can do it two ways. You can do it with the convertible top on or the convertible top off. Uh, personally, I like it on. I think it looks more like that hypercar look with it on, but they've done that nice exhaust on the back end right there. The rear end, you can see how they have that spoiler and the details of the back end right there. The wheels look great on here. The red really, really shines right here. It's a high gloss red. We've got the black interior on there. There's your front end. And again, this car, perfectly done, great looking proportions. That's just the one thing I have to say about poster cars is the proportions of all of these cars is done right. None of them look like off or anything like that. I think it just looks great. The red, not really my color on a Porsche. I would have liked to do something different and we'll get to see something different on our next one. Car number 18 of 18, the Porsche 918 Spider in a sapphire blue metallic. And there we go. Speaking of amazing blues, this is definitely an in-between of the two other blue colors that we saw. So this one's a little bit lighter. It's got that nice metallic to it. And you can see the car itself just sparkle in my lights. Blue is kind of an interesting color for a 918 Spider. It's not something that you would see very often for a 918. Most of them you're gonna see in like a silver or yellow or yes, the guard's red one but blue, I think it does look pretty good in the blue color variation, especially with these kind of like uh, like titanium style mesh wheels on here. I think it looks really good. Let's grab our red one and we can see them side by side. I'll let you guys decide which color you think or which color you prefer right here of the 918. Is it the red? Is it the blue? Let's actually get a quick comparison of the blues that we have right here. So we'll grab our Lamborghini. So we can see the, the Pagani is in like a darker metallic blue. Then we've got kind of a more flat, lighter blue in the Lamborghini. And then this one, I feel again, it's kind of a mixture in between. It's metallic, but it's a little bit darker. So some excellent colors in this lineup. What an excellent lineup, guys. Comment down below which one of these hypercars is your favorite. And don't forget, if you wanna purchase any one of these, I've linked them all down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.